Hey you guys, I'm coming back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about, sorry for the reflection of the sun, but I want to get this video out. It's very impromptu. Look guys, a lot of you guys are making this a lot harder than it has to be in terms of picking up these new contracts, okay? I said this in other videos. When you're starting off and you don't have a track record, you don't know what you don't know, it's a lot harder to get in these buildings. Okay, so just follow me here. I'm gonna be kind of talking a little fast here because I got some stuff to do, but follow me here. If you start picking up contracts under 5,000 square feet, right, under 5,000 square feet, you're charging anywhere between 50, 60, 70, maybe $80, just depending on where you're at in the country. Guys, and then you multiply that by volume, okay? A lot of you guys thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna charge that because that's just too low. I'm not going to work in nobody building for $50 per, per cleaning, okay? Look, you don't have a track record either, right? You don't have no money coming in, no revenue coming in, right? And you're already struggling, yet you're trying to pick up contracts and you're trying to charge buku money. Uh, guys, you're going out the world ass backwards. Excuse my French, but it is what it is. Get these smaller accounts, dentist offices, chiropractors, smaller accounts, right? Under 5,000 square feet. And I would suggest, you, and, you know, somebody else might tell you different, but I would suggest that you guys charge a flat rate anywhere between six, uh, 50 to $80, just depending on where you're at in the country. Obviously, if you're in California, if you're in Nevada, if you're in New York, right? Obviously, it's the taxes is a little bit more, you know, the cost of living is a little bit more. So you're gonna multiply this up, right? You're gonna drive the revenue up a little bit with this. So you might charge, let's say for a 3,000 square foot building, just general cleaning, you might charge, I don't know, 130 bucks, right? Just keeping the numbers modest here, right? That's if you're in LA or let's say, if you're in New York, you might charge 130 to 135 bucks for maybe a 3,000 square feet, square foot facility, okay? But again, we're just gonna play with modest numbers here. Guys, this is the way that I'm able to drive rev revenues up. I get contracts, okay, smaller. You guys know I get the big contracts, right? Obviously, you know that. I show you plants in different places. I love those contracts because I could get a large dollar amount, right? I can, I can bid a large amount far as thousands of dollars and get paid that but again I have a bit of a track record and I already know what I know you guys need to start small start small some people say well Fabio other people is doing to me you can make a lot of money with property management but it can be a lot of headaches guys I know I'm kind of all over the place but I'm gonna come back to it here's why a lot of people say well Fabio I'm gonna do apartment cleanouts that's fine but again a lot of times you're not getting your worth when you first get into that because there's a lot of different contingencies to it right okay i like smaller easy to clean facilities smaller to easy if you're listening to me you could drive this again up to a hundred thousand dollars annually okay and that's just the start maybe you could do more but listen smaller to medium size contracts right 40 maybe at the very lowest 40 50 60 70 up to 80 dollars Per cleaning right maybe a hundred depending a little bit more depending on where you're at in the country but let's say a small three thousand square foot facility they want you to clean it twice a week right you, you charge them sixty dollars per clean right you're only in there not even four hours maybe two hours right your first time cleaning might be a little bit longer right because you're doing a deep cleaning you get in to know the building but as you get in that building more and more guys I'm here to tell you it's gonna become a lot easier I'm talking about the workload here okay so again follow me now so you're you're doing this facility is 3,000 square feet you're charging them $60 that's $120 per week right you're doing it twice a week per week that's just say four weeks that's $120 okay and you're gonna multiply that $120 times four okay that's just one contract keeping it small keeping it small okay now let's multiply that contract times 10 contracts at the same thing right let's say it's a 3,000 square foot maybe 2,500 square feet right maybe I don't know a 45 maybe you know uh, uh, 3,600 square foot, whatever it is guys you get where I'm going with it a 40 50 60 dollars 70 80 dollar per cleaning fee Okay, and we're talking about general cleaning. You guys could clean up. For an example, there's a, a franchise in my company, uh, in my company, a franchise in my area right now that's charging like $30, $35, right? But that franchisee have to be the one to clean the facility. He can almost hire nobody because he's not making enough money. Now, 
I've taken over contracts that they were paying $35 per clean or however they it worked out with that franchisee and I've charged $60, $65. So they were willing to pay more for a better job than pay a little money and it's a total catastrophe. It's a total mess, right? So again, I provided more service, but follow me because I'm gonna tell you how to drive that revenue up. I provided more service at $60, doing the exact same thing, better quality premium service, doing the exact same thing that this franchisee was supposed to do. I did the exact same job, just did it at a better level, at a higher level, right? I did it to the point where they were pleased, right? Okay, so here, follow me. Now, this is how I drive the revenues up. People say, Fabio, where do you make the, the big money? So if you're gonna do these contracts, again, 40, 50, 60, 70, $80 accounts, right? Per cleaning, right? You multiply that times however many jobs you can pick up, okay? So follow me, let's go back to it. So let's say you got a 3,000 square foot facility, you're making $60 uh, per cleaning on there, you're only in there for two hours, that's just approximately two hours. You're in there, two hours, 3,000 square foot facility, general cleaning, no extended cleaning, general cleaning, $60. Okay, twice a week, that's $120 per week. Multiply that times four, then you do the same thing, right? So you go get another contract. That's 3,000 square feet, whatever the case is, and we're keeping the numbers low, okay? Same thing, you charge them, you're gonna charge them $60. This is for general cleaning, general cleaning. Now follow me, same thing. That's $120 per week. Let's say they need you just once a week. Okay, that's fine. So once a week, that's $60 per week. Multi multiply that times four. Now you're gonna make it up in volume. A lot of you guys are so focused on, I'm not generating this or that with this one cleaning job. You're gonna lose, you don't have any track record. You need to pick up a track record, okay? So again, now where I come in, where I say, watch me, the revenues is about to go up. Okay, so now I'm in the building six months in, right? I notice they need carpet cleaning. I give them an estimate for carpet cleaning. That's how you build the bigger money on the smaller accounts. I noticed that they need window cleaning. You see your window cleaning. Okay, I noticed they need window cleaning. That's how you build the bigger money, guys. Okay, so you upsell them more stuff that you know that you can provide for them and do it at the highest level. They'll be willing to pay it because they see what you've been doing for the last six months, right? If you're in the building, and I'm just using six months, it could be a year, it could be a year and a half, whatever, seven months, eight months, nine months, it don't matter. I'm just using six months for this particular example. So they see how I clean for six months. They've been paying out consistently $60 per clean, right? Again, I've been the one to clean or I might have a, a one or two more people that say work for me, right? Okay, so boom. I'm doing these jobs, $60 per clean at a flat rate, flat rate, right? Okay, $120 a week for this one. The other one, account B that we used in an example, they only want it once a, once a week. Okay, that was $60 just for that. So again, we multiply that. This is what I made for account A. This is what I make for account B. You put those numbers together in volume. You go ahead and keep duplicating that. Okay, so you might get another account that you're bidding $80 per clean, right? Maybe it's a tad bit bigger. They want a little bit more done. It's not too, you know, expanded, whatever the case is, but they want a little bit more done. You're able to charge them $80 per clean. Okay, so again, maybe they want twice a week or three times a week. It could happen. Again, three times a week, multiply that out times four, right? Some months is four and a half, right? Because you got some weeks where it's might like four and a half weeks or maybe five weeks in, right? But it's rare, but you want to bid that in or put those numbers in. Okay, now follow me. Same thing. Each contract, once you're in there for a significant amount of time, you're going to offer them carpet cleaning, offer them window cleaning, power washing, to power wash the building. You're going to offer them other services that your company offers. Okay, and this is how you drive the numbers up. You can do this with bigger accounts too, but I'm keeping it small. I'm keeping it small. A lot of you guys are going in there and you're trying to charge $500 for a 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 square foot. They're not going to pay that. They can bring their little niece in and pay them $15 an hour and it's going to be a lot less than a 500 that you're trying to charge them. We got to make it make sense. That's why I explain to people on my coaching calls, 
this is why I try to help you guys. When you come into numbers, people, they bring me their numbers all the time. They email me, Fabio, take a look at my numbers. I need help. Okay, so I say, well, what have you done so far? Can you send me whatever? So they send me an attachment of what they have already. I look at the number. I say, you're not going to get it. Your number's just too high, especially considering the market that you're in. They might be in the Midwest or they might be in the South somewhere. Again, you got to know what they're charging in your area. So I know that I can't charge the same thing in Michigan or Ohio that if I lived in Nevada or if I lived in Arizona or if I lived in California, I can't charge those same numbers. I'll be underbidding myself, right? So again, you gotta know your market. But again, guys, a lot of people, as those numbers get bigger in terms of square footage, then you can start looking at five to 15 cent per square foot, okay? Uh, 25 cent per square foot, 17 cent per square foot, whatever the case is as those numbers grow. I'm talking about you get up to that 10,000 square foot mark and, and above, right? Now you might wanna start doing it by the square foot because you can make more money because it's more square feet of, of space that you have to clean. But those smaller buildings, 5,000 square feet, that's relatively small. Like I say, anywhere between the zero and 5,000, guys, 40, 50, 60, 70, maybe $80 just basic clean, general cleaning. Every time you clean, you're gonna still make way more. And all, let's say you have 10 contracts, you will still be billing under 40 hours a lot of times. Like it's gonna take you two hours to clean, maybe one building might be three hours. That's five hours right there. That's just two buildings, right? Two build, one, two building, maybe one is two hours, maybe another one is three hours, that's five hours, two buildings, right? You haven't even scratched the surface of a 40 hour work week yet. You see what I'm saying? So again, you're gonna make it up in volume, okay? Don't stop thinking, again, stop trying to charge buku money when you don't have a track record. Stop trying to charge buku money when you don't have a track record. Again, listen to me. If you wanna get in my coaching, guys, you can definitely get in. It's up to you. I'm not trying to force you in or whatever the case, but I can help you systematically set this up and have this really working on autopilot in the first year if you believe in me enough and believe in yourself. Don't pay to get in if you're not going to execute. I don't need your money for you just to sit on a roster and not do anything. But if you're willing to work, roll up your sleeves, execution is king, you will be able to make this happen. There is absolutely no reason why I can't get you to 100000 in revenue your first year. But looking at the examples that I'm giving you, if you can envision, okay, I see where he's saying. I see what he's saying. Smaller accounts, professional buildings, okay, $40. 50, 65, 70, 75, 80, 55, 65 per cleaning, okay? Per cleaning under 5,000 square feet. I love those once a week account, twice a week account, three times a week account, and even those five times a week account, the very smaller, easy to clean facilities. I don't like to have to break my back out where I can't, you come home, you can't even eat dinner because, you know, work so hard, you know, broke your back out, right? You, you so much to the workload. I don't, I like very easy to clean facilities, right? And I can show you how to pick those facilities up. I can show you everything that I know, help you grow it to that next level if you're willing to invest in yourself, okay? So that's entirely up to you. Hollywood Janitorial Serve at gmail.com. Hollywood Janitorial Serve, serve is S-E-R-V at gmail.com. The only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you. Again, guys, keep it small and, and steady, okay? Keep it small and steady. And I guarantee you'll be able to get to that, at least that 100 grand mark, maybe a little bit more. But I'm just being modest with the numbers. You'll be able to get to that 100 grand mark your first year, okay? So it's entirely up to you.